Good evening and welcome to the News Hour Agenda. I'm Madhav Das Gopal Krishnan. Days after meeting Rahul Gandhi, wrestlers Vinesh Fogart and Bajrang Punia have today joined the Congress and the party has even fielded Vinesh from Julana constituency. As Olympians were welcomed by the top leaders of the Congress party, the wrestlers dialed back to their protest against Bridgebushan Sharan Singh. Vinesh Fogart made an emotional mention of the protest as she said that while they were being dragged on the streets, it was Congress party that stood with them. Listen in to what the wrestlers said. बुरे टाइम में पता लगता है कि अपना कौन है जब हम रोड पे घसीटे जा रहे थे तो छोड़ के बीजेपी को देश में जितनी भी पार्टियां हैं वो हमारे साथ में थी हमारे दर्द को समझ पा रही थी हमारे आंसुओं को समझ पा रही थी मैं बहुत प्राउड फील कर रही हूं कि मैं एक ऐसी पार्टी में एक ऐसी विचारधारा में हूं जो महिलाओं के साथ हो रहा अन्याय और उनके साथ बुरे बर्ताव के खिलाफ खड़ी है जो आज बीजेपी की आई सेल बोल रही है किन का मकसद तो सिर्फ राजनीति करना था हमने तो उनको लेटर भेजा था वो जब भी नहीं आए जो अत्याचार बेटियों पे हुआ जंतर मंतर पे उसके साथ सिर्फ बीजेपी पार्टी खड़ी हुई और सभी पार्टी हमारे साथ खड़ी थी अब अब अनदर रेसलर साक्षी मलिक हु इज बैक विनेश फोगाट थ्रू हर प्रोटेस्ट डिस्टेंस हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम द डिसीजन कॉलिंग इट द पर्सनल डिसीजन ऑफ विनेश फोगाट एंड बजरंग पूनिया शी हैज एडेड दैट द एजिटेशन द फाइट फॉर वुमेन शुड नॉट बी गिवन अ रॉन्ग इंप्रेशन एंड दैट हर फाइट विल कंटिन्यू लिसन टू व्हाट साक्षी मलिक हैज सेड तो ये उनका व्यक्तिगत फैसला है पर्सनल चॉइस है उनकी कहीं ना कहीं हमें त्याग कर देना चाहिए और बाकी जो हमारा जो आंदोलन था जो बहन बेटियों की लड़ाई थी वो उसको गलत रूप ना दिया जाए जो हमारा आंदोलन है वो अभी भी मेरी तरफ से बिल्कुल जारी है मेरे पास भी ऑफर आए बड़े मेरी लड़ाई हम जो है जारी है देखो मैं तो नॉन पॉलिटिकल हूँ मैं तो अपना रेलवे में जॉब करती हूँ मैं मेरी सिर्फ लड़ाई एक ही आदमी से थी वो ब्रजभूषण है In 2023 Priyanka Gandhi Vadra met Vinesh Fogart and the protesting wrestlers at the Jantar Mantar area Rahul Gandhi had also voiced his support for the wrestlers when Vinesh returned to the country after the Paris Olympics heartbreak earlier this year Congress MP Dipinder Hooda accompanied them in their welcome march from the airport but with their official induction into the party the man who they have accused of sexual harassment Bridgebushan Sharan Singh had already claimed that the protest by wrestlers was a political conspiracy BJP and Congress have now locked horns with the BJP alleging that it's now clear what were the real intentions of the wrestlers and the Congress countering the claims that several athletes were also in the BJP. Now I do not want to add anything more on that. If anybody wants to join any political party they are free. See after joining the Congress things have come to a full have people got to work. more uh, clarity and more confirmation on that what was their intention leaders become leaders will come through moments these two people came through a biggest moment in this country now somebody is criticizing i saw that that is all the conspiracy congress conspiracy so many athletes are in different different parties so many olympians are also in different parties if that also a part of conspiracy you're watching the news hour at 10 debate number 1 on times now super prime time and for more on this let's go right across to our guest joining us shashya elmi national spokesperson of the bjp advaita kala author is with us also with us is dr rakesh singh general secretary of the haryana wrestling association lokesh jindal political analyst is joining us also joining us is ashutosh mishra with us here in the studio is pradeek som national spokesperson of the jjp vivek sailas is national spokesperson of the samajwadi party let me start first and foremost with shashya elmi shashya elmi uh, any individual any citizen has a right to join a political party uh that's the stand that perhaps all individuals everyone in politics would take in this particular case why is the bjp taking exception to vinesh fogart and bajrang punia joining the congress party no one is not taking any exception whatsoever in fact uh, we are very proud of vinesh and her all her accomplishments but when the matter becomes political and you just begin to wonder as to why there is always a, a anti but a one party singled out and the, and soon after instead of having any cooling off period suddenly there is announcement um uh, for 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 a 
political for political candidature that's that's also it's not a matter of taking umbrage to but it just uh, dilutes one own, one, one's own cause especially if it's a serious one such as crimes against women violence against women and uh, uh, the 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 charges that were leveled not that the charges go away in any way not that they should not be taken seriously but when there is a clear political uh, backing and an affiliation to a group which was hitherto uh, not disclosed and suddenly it gets disclosed like it has just we have just learned of it it just makes you wonder whether much of that anger was prompted by this or was all genuine okay ashutosh mishra no problem with vinesh we are all proud of her as the bjp spokesperson but then there are questions that will emerge as to whether there was patronage you, because it can't be a situation that you come straight out of the olympics and plunge into the haryana politics pool just before the elections are to take place the timing of it is bound to raise questions ashutosh mishra No, no, this is one of the silliest excuses. You know, BJP is rattled at the reaction of the common man to its anti-people policies, and uh, by joining politics, Vinesh Fogat will be amplifying the voices of these common people in general and women in particular who have been paid lip services by the Modi and BJP sarkars over the last ten years. And it's very obvious from the snide comments of uh, Manohar Lal Khattar, Anil Vaij. that uh, they are sort of afraid uh, that they face a total rout in uh, haryana it's not, not just because of their anti women policies there it's also uh, because of their anti farmer policies and we all remember that that uh, slap that was landed on the face of kangna rana that still resounds in public memory and bjp is afraid that this combination may impacts its electoral um, um, outcome in the coming uh, haryana elections and and for a person to say that just by joining politics if, if the haryana elections are due and she wants to take part and be voice of people how can anyone protest and say that just because today she is joining politics she, uh, yesterday when she was protesting as a uh, sexual uh, sexually harassed uh, women wrestler it was unfair and at at the uh, beckoning of a political party they are un throwing mud at these women wrestlers who have, uh, have faced enough harassment who were not given fair treatment we all remember how just to open okay. the new parliament they were uh, forcefully uh, removed i want shazia to respond line. to that shazia this is throwing mud at a person who has brought laurels to the country uh, for... and this is not fair because irrespective of her political choices today who's to say that there was not a sexual harassment that actually or genuinely happened to her as a athlete no true in fact there are very serious charges and there is a serious inquiry in place and uh, uh, it's underway and and we know uh, what has led to that so nobody is undermining that but when you know when you speak against uh, uh, when it matters of crimes against women sexual assault charges of rape or sexual molestation or misbehavior or inappropriate behavior and when when you very vocal on one case and you quiet on the others and suddenly you seen joining a, a a political party and during olympics we have seen there are something obnoxious that was um, that was said uh, at the point of time when after having reached the semi finals uh, when she was actually disqualified and did mm. not get the laurel that she truly deserved something that all indians are proud of and would have wanted her to go ahead and get what kind of accusations were made by the congress party if you remember on the floor of house it was almost as if india or people in in the government wanted an indian daughter not to win uh, the famous uh, silver at least if not gold uh, to come to india and the insinuation was very clear and now you just see i mean anybody can no, see the connection no what makes you here. think they didn't want and, india and to win that what what statement that, are you talking uh, about whether there is a sports minister and also on my, my other question no do you remember do you remember how everybody in the congress party tweeted and ascribed all kind of motives to what happened to uh, miss fokert 
when she lost out and because of the slight weight gain. No, but that does not take away from Vinesh's. That does not take away. But since you are asking a question of the Congress Party, I should also respond that the response of the Congress Party politicizing what was a non-political event that is, of course, to the highest level of sports, the Olympics, that itself was politicization. So don't call this politicization then. So, so no, the first thing that uh, Shazia said was that speaking on some matters and not speaking up on others. So when they speak on what happened in Calcutta, but our uh, BJP and uh, Narendra Modi in particular keep quiet on what's happening to women in Manipur or what happened to women wrestlers, that is duplicity. These are the people who remitted the sentences and released the rapists of Bilkis Mano and even called them Sanskari. So they, I mean, they cannot point fingers at others and try to divert attention from the fact. The fact mm. is that Vinesh Fogat felt hurt that even the prime minister did not listen to her complaints that the women wrestlers were so humiliated and publicly humiliated when yeah. they were forcefully thrown out and nobody spoke up for them. And even now, uh, the accused son has been given, uh, was given ticket and one from UP. So mm. what does that mean? Does this party uh, uh, only pay lip service to Nari Shakti Vandan? That's all. That it's very clear to everyone. And the woman, when when Vinesh Fogart says that I realize that in a bad moment, who is standing with me, that's what the feeling of many people is, and that's why BJP today is reduced to. Okay, let me bring in Advaita Kala on that. Advaita Kala, you know, at the end of the day, there are questions for all sides because even in the case of West Bengal, of course, uh, Ashutosh just referred to RG Car case. But when you talk about Sandesh Khali over there, also Rekha Patra was ultimately given a ticket. Now, how does that in any way change the nature of the charges that have been levelled by a survivor of this kind of a sexual assault or an attack? Uh, whatever one may choose to call it or a rape, whatever may have happened. Uh, if a woman has complained about such a thing, there is a legal case that is taking place. If he or if she joins any political party, whichever the political party may be, should we really politicize that then? Well, I think, uh, you know, a sports person, especially one who has achieved laurels for the country and competed at the highest levels of the sport, is, is a heroine and or a hero. So I think they are an asset to any society. They'll be an asset to uh, any political party that they join, including Saina Nehwal, who had to face a lot of sexist jibes for choosing to join the BJP. So this is not like it's happening for the first time. At least this time round, there aren't any sexist jibes being thrown at uh, you know, Miss Fogart, uh, she is uh, she has made an entry. The the you know the what is problematic here, and I'm only going to look at it through the female lens, not through the political lens, is that uh, she led a campaign a, about allegations of sexual harassment. Then today, when she joined the party, she kind of said that this party is the right party for women and was leveraging that as a reason of why she joined this political party without realizing that four or five days ago in Kerala, an AICC member was expelled from the party just for alleging that there was sexual exploitation going on. She called it the casting couch in the Congress in Kerala. And she was expelled without even getting a hearing. Maybe her allegations were true or they were not true. I can't say sitting over here. But what certainly happened was just for saying that, she was expelled from the party. So <laughs> let's be clear here, Madhav. There is no political party that has been fair to women so far. And nobody can take the higher ground. Yes, what happens now is that the movement that Ms. Fogart was leading that is going to be questioned because she has jumped into active politics. Mm. People are going to ask, was this a quid pro quo? Mm. So in that sense, when Swati Malik, her own uh, compatriot Sakshi and Malik. colleague, uh, says that, you know, this has compromised the movement, I tend to agree with her. I okay. have no problem. I'm going to get into Sakshi Malik and what this means really for the entire movement. But I want to ask a pointed question to Lokesh Jindal on the case of Ms. Rosebell uh, John, if I'm not mistaken. Simi Rosebell John was the name of the person who just a few days ago made the allegation that, uh, you know, there was discrimination against women happening, exploitation of women happening within the same Congress party that Vinesh Fogart has joined today saying that it is the correct party for women. But there are very serious charges that the Congress party faces in the state of Kerala is the point being made here by Advaita Kala. How do you respond to that, Lokesh? Well, these are not the whatever uh, Rose Bella said were not uh, specific charges. It was some opinionated statement which uh, was made by her. In fact, 
I was uh, on a debate where she was live and uh, she was unable to even determine whether she is sure that there was some form of casting couch incident or it was some form of a supposition she was making. She was not able to make up her mind. In fact, that uh, entire interview of her is uh, live, uh, available for any person to see. So when no, you are okay, coming out with very clear that there is exploitation, activity. she has blamed the LOP, Mr. V.D. Satishan, saying that he comes from the same district. There are the underprivileged women who are being exploited in the Congress party. I had oh. an interview with her and she told me exactly that. So I don't know, maybe what she wasn't she able to articulate was. her as well as you do, articulate uh, in the language as well as you do. But those charges are very much there. They've been widely reported. There's no running away from the charges, please. No. See, what uh, she stated was that there were some women who were uh, progressing or who were given uh, higher positions and some women were not. And she speculated that this was being done because of some form of a casting couch. Now that is derogatory against the women who are progressing and who are emerging successful. Mm. How can you pass derogatory comments against anybody who is working hard and climbing up the ladder with their own gut and with their own uh, uh, with their own hard work. So, this so why would someone who has got 36 years of experience do that, Lokesh? Yes. Well, if she had any substantive charges, she should have brought it uh, to the party high command. Uh, she was uh, into the public sphere. She could have filed an FIR. She would have proceeded ahead with the laws are very strict. There were various modes via which this incident could have been brought up. But simply causing a media sensation and coming to the limelight... Okay, it was causing a media sensation. It was causing a media sensation. Advaita Kala, this was, there was no proof. Uh, she went back on her charges. She was, in fact, insulting those who were progressing within the party. And if there was anything serious, she could have gone to the authorities. Please respond to Lokesh. You know, this sort of shaming is un unfortunate. And this is the issue with public discourse and with political parties and, and the whole realm of polity, that a woman is seen as difficult as someone who's seeking attention if she highlights something else at all. I'm not saying that what she said was correct or it was right or it was wrong. I'm saying that it deserved a hearing. And especially in the environment that we exist in today, if she is making such serious charges after being a politician for decades, I think it deserved a hearing. But what happened instead was this sort of shaming of saying she's seeking attention, she's frustrated about her own career trajectory, et cetera, et cetera. And, and trying to kind of, you know, smear her, the politics mm. of smearing. Mm. Instead, I think if there was true commitment, then there should have been something that actually set up an inquiry committee to explain explore what she is saying, not just expel her straight away, especially because she mentioned a male politician, okay. a powerful male politician. Okay, okay. Uh, Lokesh, quick response, please. Well, if she wanted a hearing, the matter should have been brought before the party authorities. Directly going ahead with such form of a sensationalism is not something where a person could demand some form of hearing. Lokesh, was there, there, was there any hearing, was there any hearing that person has to adhere? She made a statement, the party decided to suspend her immediately. The party could have called her and taken her version. No, no, the point no, being no. made here is even the if party she, did not follow any due process. Ladki Ular Sakti is a very good making, statement to make, but there also must be some practice of it. Making a statement in the media and putting the matter before the party authorities, bringing it to the light. So if you, ma if you put a statement in the media, that means no sexual assault has happened. Even, That's the logic. Even with respect, even with respect to all the, uh, I would say, even government or any organization. Okay. It, let me. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me now. Let me now bring the topic back. The let me bring the topic back to Haryana, where we currently are at, and that's the subject of today's debate. Because Dr. Rakesh Singh is also with us. Dr. Rakesh Singh, सवाल ये उठता है कि at the end of the day, अगर BJP में बबीता फोगाट, महावीर फोगाट, गौतम गंभीर, विजेंदर सिंह चुनाव से पहले join कर रहे थे. तो ऐसे में अगर विनेश फोगाट और बजरंग पुनिया कांग्रेस ज्वाइन करते हैं तो इस पे आपत्ति क्या है कोई आपत्ति नहीं है उनका स्वागत है कांग्रेस उनका स्वागत कर रही है और जो इस देश में तो मुझे लगता है आंदोलनकारी जो हैं वो हमेशा टिकट लेने में सक्षम होते हैं और पार्टी जल्दी से ज्वाइन करते हैं अन्ना आजारे ने 
आंदोलन किया तो देखिए आज अरविंद केजरीवाल सीएम बन के बैठ गए हैं जी राकेश ने आंदोलन किया तो राकेश ने टिकट मिला और पहलवानों ने आंदोलन किया तो आज विनेश को टिकट दे रहे हैं तो ये तो हरियाणा इंडिया का कल्चर है जो भी आंदोलनकारी है उनको सरकार जो है ना कोई ना कोई पक्ष ले ही लेता है और जहां तक पहलवानों का या किसी भी स्पोर्ट्समैन का सवाल है तो सभी पार्टियां स्वागत करती है उनका तो तो बीजेपी भी करती है कांग्रेस भी करती है तो आपत्ति किसको है आराम से ज्वाइन करें और एमएलए बने वो हमें हम तो उसको बधाई दे रहे हैं पहले से ही जब विनेश हरियाणा में एमएलए बने और आके जाके स्पोर्ट्स मंत्री बने और इसका खिलाड़ियों का भला करे हम तो ये दुआई दे रहे हैं उसको नहीं अभी आशुतोष मिश्रा उनका कहना है कि बीजेपी बौखला गई है क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं उनको ये डर है कि किसानों का मूवमेंट पहले ही चल रहा था हरियाणा में और अगर रेसलर भी यहाँ ज्वाइन कर जाए तो काफी बुरा असर हो सकता है इसका बीजेपी पे नहीं कोई बुरा असर नहीं होगा हर एक आदमी अपनी किस्मत लिखवा के लेके आता है आज देखो विनेश की अच्छी किस्मत है वो हार के आई वहां से यानी कि डिसक्वालीफाई हो गई जबकि उसको वहां पनिशमेंट मिलना चाहिए था लेकिन उसको लोगों ने आंखों पे बिठाया पलकों पे बिठाया सरकार ने बीजेपी सरकार ने चार करोड़ रुपया दे दिया बीजेपी सरकार से पूछना चाहिए भाई ये आपने चार करोड़ रुपये कौन से मेडल के दिए हैं तो बीजेपी भी बैक फुट पे इस पे और कांग्रेस तो उन्होंने हाथों हाथ ले रही है मैंने तो आपको एक साल पहले कहा था ये आंदोलन की स्क्रिप्ट लिखी गई है ये आंदोलन जान पूछ के किया गया है और बीजेपी में जो बबीता फोगाट थी और ये विनेश है इन्होंने सिस्टम बना लिया एक बीजेपी में चले जाओ हम कांग्रेस में चले जाएंगे और ये फोगाट परिवार ये बहुत बहुत गंभीर आरोप लगा रहे हैं मीडिया सी माधव Pehlwan Kisan and Jawan resides in the soul of Haryana. This soul has been crushed by BJP. Farmers were given beatings, lathis, bullets. Pehlwans were dragged on the court, uh, dragged on the road. Their FIR is not been written. They had to approach the Honorable Supreme Court. The Jawans, they have been politicized. Everybody knows that the political gains are been taken. on the name of jawan on our, on the name of our army now the consequences will follow the trailer has come in 2024 lok sabha elections and now the haryana will show that how the consequences of crushing the soul of haryana and especially about pehlwan jawan and kisan what results will come but you so continue to be in alliance with them when they were crushing the soul of farmers why didn't you leave then i'm coming on that so far as induction of vinesh in politics is concerned we welcome this move it does not matter whether she joins congress or any other party or her cousin is in bjp good part is that people from all walks of life and especially wrestlers who struggle a lot even on the mat and in vinesh case uh, on the road as well during the protest they can contribute better in indian politics when you know politician make laws they make they make niti in in the assembly and in the parliament we need such kind of educated and youth leaders for our country right. so we welcome her now hmm. your question that we were part of government we were not governing police of haryana we were the first one to condemn the violence we were the first one to say that we will withdraw from haryana government if msp to farmer is con- is not continued 20th december 2020 Dushyant Chotala then being deputy chief minister of Haryana hmm. said that agar MSP ko pe koi aa chahegi then we will be the first one to withdraw from the government hmm. thereafter let me tell you the central leaders from Haryana was Dipinder Hooda who was a Rajya Sabha member of parliament okay pura kisan andolan hua let me bring in bjp did, now let, let me complete yeah. he did not raise Please. even a single voice in parliament okay. he could not meet the prime minister of india he could not meet the agriculture minister of india where was he he was doing politics but dushyant chotala went and meet mr narendra singh tomar honorable defense minister rajnath singh ji and he wrote to honorable prime minister of india that the solution should be brought 
and that happened. Okay. Haryana has seen that how the central government has withdrawn from the those draconian agriculture laws. Okay, Lokesh, I wanted to respond to that because now he's targeting BJP, now he's targeting the Congress party, asking what your members of parliament were doing. And at the end of the day, there is a serious question here. Uh, leave alone Brijbush and Charan Singh. Of course, there are valid questions that need to be asked. There is a court case that is pending. But even Chaudhary Lal Singh, whose role as far as the Katwa protest is concerned is very well known. And he is, uh, in fact, inducted into the Congress party. So what is the Congress party's own track record when it comes to women's safety is highly questionable here, Lokesh. See, when you're talking about Congress, when it is standing for the cause of women, that is one of the major reasons that it has uh, supported always and it has uh, given ticket to uh, Vinish Fogart because she truly represents the role model for a woman. In fact, I would say that she is the brand ambassador for Ladki Hu Lad Sakti. And with and respect what does Lal to, Singh represent? Well, Chaudhary Lal Singh has uh, is a representative of the farmers' issue and all forms of. I know for all his track record in Katwa. When I'm talking about the injustices that have been meted out to the farmers in Haryana, the way JJP resorted to political gains by joining hands with BJP and sabotaging the cause of the farmers in Haryana. It was only and only Congress, Dipinder Huda, who stood with the, for the cause of the farmers. You've not answered so my question on Lal Singh, but yeah, here. since your crazy question is JJP, respond to him. Can you tell me one effort made by Dipinder Huda to defuse the situation, to force the central government that they should bring back, they should take back the laws? Were, Did he meet the honorable were, cabinet ministers? Did he meet the prime minister? Not even no, a single we voice were, came we from were, him. We were not in power that we will... How does that matter? You were Rajya Sabha member of parliament. But you could have raised the issue. You could have raised the issue in parliament. Okay. Let me tell you, when Dushan Chautala was Why member of parliament, JJP he took tractor to the parliament. No, no, yeah. These kind of leaders we need in India. Okay. He, he had guts to take tractor all right, in the parliament. All right, all right. Let me just come in now. Let me just come in now. Police chopped in. I would bring it Vivek Salas. central government to take back the law that the tractor should be included in I would bring in Vivek Salas. Vivek Salas, you know, various, we need. There are, there are various questions. Ideas. One second, one second. Prati, let me just come in and Vivek Salas has not yet spoken. Vivek, there are serious questions. And there are serious questions about attitudes of political parties when it comes to women's issues. Your own party has been criticized many times in the past when your own leader, Mr. Mulayam Singh Yadav, has said, Ladke hai, galti ho jati hai. In the similar vein, when it comes to the high moral ground that is being taken here by the BJP, by the Congress party, by the JJP, etc., even the Samajwadi party, there are some serious questions because this is your ally that we're talking about. First of all, let me tell you, we are talking about crime against women. If you see the NCRB data, if you, if you look at top three states, first is Uttar Pradesh, second is Maharashtra, and third is Rajasthan. And fortunately or unfortunately, all these three states are being run by the Bhartiya Janta Party at the moment. So Bhartiya Janta Party should not talk about crime against women. We have seen what has happened in Ujjain, the disgusting rape that has happened. I don't even want to utter about that. Hmm. Now we come to the Bhartiya Janta Party in Haryana, you know. When the Bhartiya Janta Party can give a ticket to Mr. Sunil Sangwan, the jailer who has taken a VRS, uh, the jailer who has given uh, parole six times hmm. to the convicted Ram Rahim, who has been convicted of rape and murder, the Bharti and the party has given a ticket to that man, Mr. Sunil Sangwan, from Dadri constituency. So this is the real face of, of the Bharti and the party. Someone on the on the panel was saying ki Andolan jo tha, Pelwano ko scripted tha. What about the Delhi police? Even the Delhi police said that we have all the evidences against Bilbushan Charan Singh and the FIR should be filed against him. That was the statement given by the Delhi police. We yeah, are going to question is, the Delhi the police. Underway. The case is underway. It is, the, the, it is with the courts. It is not that the case has not been filed. But you are asking pointed questions of BJP's track record as far as women's safety is concerned. I want Shazia to respond to you on that. Vivek Salas quoting, quoting the latest uh -huh. NCRB data yes, and he's I also think... saying that crimes against... Sorry? <laughs> Sunil Sangwan, the jailer who has... And Sunil Sangwan. All right. Sunil Sangwan's uh, uh, role as well being you know, questioned I, over here. Please yeah, respond I to those two points. To, uh, you know, I've been listening to all these things against the BJP. So as an official spokesperson of the BJP, I would like to set the record straight. Let me cite the NCRB data and disappoint my very uh, belligerent friend, obviously who's not clear on his facts, that the government NCRB data says that UP tops lists in convictions in crimes against women cases. 
The latest NCRB data, which is for 2022 and 23, has revealed that because of Chief Minister Yogi Ji's zero tolerance policy, the actual there's a drop in the overall crime rate, and not just that. When it comes to crime, my where's the highest conviction rate in the country? Is from UP, and despite the being that, the most that's popular state, true, but the incident rate is also very high in UP. Sure. It's also very high in Madhya Pradesh. The only correction, those Rajasthan, as my research team tells me, when the last data came out, uh, was ruled by the Congress as per the last data that has come out. So we'll have to leave it there. Perhaps no political party can take the high moral ground when it comes to crimes against women, and that's the unfortunate reality of our politics. We'll have to leave it there. Shazi Almi, Advaita Kala, Dr. Rakesh Singh, Lokesh Jindal, Vivek Sela, Sashutosh Mishra, Pratik Som, thanks so much for joining us this evening.